Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be uh, doing part 3 and 4. I already did part 3 on a stream, but um, some of you guys, uh, well, yeah, some of you guys are asking, like, um, uh, what is part 3? Like, can you please do a part 3? So basically I'm just going to be doing part 3, except it's not going to be live. And also this is going to be part 4 because um, part 3 was not too, like, was pretty short. So I can, I'm going to be adding in also part 4 for this. Let's get right into this. So, uh, also, well, um, yeah, okay. So it's already there, but um, basically, uh, what I did to the um main script was I ma basically just made it instead of a script, I made it a local script. I mean, a module script, and also I um got the insert object because um, uh, I just found out how to make it so that you guys can actually see uh what things I'm importing. So yeah. So, um, instead of a script, I changed it to a module script, and all I did was, um, so basically, what it starts off as is just this. It, it's just this at the beginning. And what I did was I just, um, put everything else in, except instead of just making it the function, and just, instead of saying just, like, function spawn stages, I did function, and then I said module dot spawn stages uh so basically what that does is um when some when someone uh references uh the main script uh it can just um do dot spawn stages and it'll automatically um uh run all this and it can be in a different script so that's basically um i'm just basically using cross script stuff which is kind of cool in my opinion um and yeah so that's what I did to the main script, and, um, in Star's UI, I just added, oh, sorry guys, um, so I just added in a screen GUI, uh, screen GUI, what the heck, oh, okay, there, now I added in, okay, so what I, um, did here was, um, I added in a text label, the heck, okay, there you go, I added in a text label, and I just put it right here, and I just left it, I'm pretty sure I just left it at scale 50 because it looked pretty good. Um, and I just put the background to, uh, well, background transparency to 1 because, and I just set it to um, sci-fi. And uh, I just set it, the thing to 0, 0, 0, um, zero colon 0, 0. And yeah, because that's how it looks like when you're actually playing um, Quarter of uh, Hell. And uh, then I just added it in a script, and um, now I'm going to be showing you guys the script. So the, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to reference the um, main script. So local module is equal to require, and that's how the game knows that um, this is going to be a, a um, module script. So require uh, game dot server script service dot main. And what we're going to do is now we're going to um, actually make the uh, like the timer function. So while wait do and inside here actually wait no 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 no, no we don't need a while wait do uh, it can do while true do because we're going to add a wait at the end. And then what I did inside here was local timer is equal to strip dot parent and local minutes. Well, yeah, minute is equal to um, four. Local second is equal to oops, is equal to fifty nine, because um, I'm pretty sure it's like five minute. You get like five minutes in um, quarter of hell, um, and that's just a good enough amount of time for me. So what I did was I um, now we have to make a repeat statement. So repeat. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to um, check if seconds is less than or equal to zero. So if seconds is less than or equal to zero, then, oops, I forgot to use it, then. Okay, then if it is, then what we're going to need to do is we're going to um, say minute, uh, minute, minute, um, minus equals one. And uh, then we're going to need to do um, seconds is equal to 59. So seconds, oh, second is equal to 59. 
And uh, that's it for that um, thing. And now I need to make an else statement. So if it's not, uh, oops, if it is not less than zero, then what we're going to do, we're just going to set second minus equals one. So now um, what we can do is we can uh, say if it's less than nine, so we can add the zero in front of it. Um, so if seconds, oops, uh, right here, if, oops, if second is less than or equal to nine, then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set, um, Timer dot text. So timer. Uh, timer dot text. Oops, timer dot capital T text. We're gonna set it equal to two string. Minute. Uh, dot dot, and then um a colon zero, then dot dot, and then two string. Second. And um then we're gonna need to do an else. So if it isn't, then we're just going to copy all of this, paste it, and get rid of that. Oh, oops. No, I got rid of the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, get rid of the zero. And then what we're going to do is just add in a wait, one, wait one, and then we're just going to um, then do the um, until. So until space minute is less than or equal to zero and second is less than or equal to oops less than or equal to zero so if it is then we're going to do, need to do module dot spawn stages and that should be all wait what oops i accidentally did seconds for that uh, for there okay now it's correct <laughs> sorry guys um but uh, if we run that, it should automatically be correct, and let's just test it, and if it is, then we can move on. Yes, it works. Okay. So, now what we're going to need to do is add in the songs. That is what the, um, part four is going to be, songs, which is really nice because I love um, the songs in Quarter of Hell. So, what we're going to need to do is we're just going to need to um, add in a... Oops. Uh... Um, go here, and it, oops, clip, the heck, add in a folder, and the folder is going to be, uh, be named, um, uh, song, this is going to be the current song, and, um, now we're going to need to add a, um, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Um, so in service script service, we're going to need to add in a folder, and I'm just going to need, uh, hmm, I guess song manager, and, um, I'm going to add in, um, a script, and, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, care to name it, <laughs> and, uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to say local songs, is equal to script dot parent get children and um, local last song. So local last song. We're just gonna call it. We're not gonna set it to anything. And local chosen copy. So local chosen copy. Now we're going to do while true do. Then um local uh, chosen song is equal to, and we're going to set this equal to song, this is going to be very long, but songs, oh wait, no, but yeah, songs, um, uh, and then math.random, and um, the math.random is going to be one, through the number of songs, and um, now we're going to um, repeat wait, so repeat wait, and then we're going to repeat the wait until um, 
uh, what's it? Uh, oh yeah. Well, not we don't need to do the until just yet. We need to then we can um just do we can just copy that and paste it, and then we can then we can say until um chosen song is not equal to um uh. Uh, no, I, you can't do that. Um, I'll just give you guys the script because some some of you don't know how to do this letter right here. Um, so um, now uh, we're going to need to do is say is not equal to last song because we don't want to repeat a song. So it could just repeat a song over and over again if we didn't add that. And we also need to check if uh, if um, chosen song. Uh, so chosen song is a then sound. Wait, did I spell that correctly? Oh, oops. I need to do an and. So and chosen song is a and then it's gonna be of type sound. And um then what we're going to do is um so uh what's it? Uh oh yeah. So last song is equal to chosen song, and um, going to say chosen copy is equal to chosen song uh, clo oops, clone, and we're going to say uh, chosen copy dot parent is equal to game dot workspace dot song, and uh, now we're going to say um chosen copy play oops chosen copy play and um uh chosen copy dot ended wait and um uh chosen copy stop just because um that'll help and chosen copy destroy. Oops, destroy. Okay, now that we have all that, we just need to add in a wait, just because that'll um, help stop the lag from any lag, if there even is. And um, now I'm just going to uh, grab some songs that I already made. Um, and also, I'll just quickly, you guys, uh, I'll just quickly show you guys how to make a song. So you gotta add in a sound. So sound. So you gotta add, add in the sound to here, and um, what we're gonna do is just just name it whatever you want to. Uh, I actually name it um the name of the song, and um, what you need to do is you just need to go down and go to sound ID, and then that's what you really need to do. You need to um get the sound ID of the um well the Roblox sound ID. Of this um of the song and then if you're not sure if it worked just click preview and it should run but I don't have any um sound ID for this one so it will not uh it won't let me do preview but um uh I'll just show you guys that some of these are songs like for sure like this yeah that's a song so um we know that. And, uh, now I can just get rid of that because I don't need it. And, um, yeah, let's see if that worked. Also, turn up my volume so that you guys can know that it worked. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. What's playing? Okay, Lost Guys playing. And... Yeah, I added one of the stages that um my friend made. So yeah. Okay, yeah. So that will be the end of this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, I'm pretty sure. It's, yeah, part five. Uh, and yeah, and I think in part five I'll have the um uh like the pause button for the song and um uh partially the um uh coin script 
So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.